Now, between the pre-release version of Windows 10 and Windows 10 final version, there's been some changes to the way to create multiple desktops. So we're going to revisit that today. Now, in order to create a desktop in uh, a Nexus desktop, you'll notice that uh, I'm hovering over at the lower uh, left-hand side uh, the task view. It's so really what it is is a little monitor with two other monitors peeking out from the side. So that's your icon to tell you that that's where you go to to create uh, desktops. So if I click on it, you'll see that on the right hand side you'll see a new desktop icon up here. Let's click on it again. You'll see it over there. So click on that and boom! A new desktop is created right there. The problem is they're, they're duplicates so they're indistinguishable. So let's add some programs up here. So I'll click on here and put a file manager, a file explorer on this desktop. So there we can look at some files and do some stuff there. Now if I go over here and I go back uh, to the other desktop and I click over here there's nothing running there. So let's click on uh, the, the new uh, browser, the Edge browser, and put it there. So now you can see down there I have uh, screen capture program in the Edge browser, but you see I have two desktops running. Uh, one with the uh, Edge browser and one with the uh, file manager. Now I, I added a third. We'll put the store in there and uh, we'll go take a look at that. Now, you notice at the bottom I can see all the programs running on all the desktops. That's not the normal setting for Windows 10 uh, default. So instead of uh, having them being able to see them all, you're only able to see the one that's running in that particular desktop. So let's go change that. So I'll go down here to the settings and go click on settings. I go over here to system and I look under multitasking. And there you'll see at the bottom half of that screen right there, it has, I have it set for all desktops. It comes configured the other way, but I want to see, even when I'm using the Alt-Tab, I want to see every program that's running. So all I have to do is do that, and sure enough, Alt-Tab shows all the programs running. Uh, the task bar at the bottom shows them all. Uh, so it's easy to switch between. You can see at an instant what's running on your system. And by the way, taskbar is really handy because all you do is you click on the program and it automatically, you don't have to just click anywhere, just click on the program and it'll jump to that desktop automatically for you so you don't have to go find it. What happens if you have a program on a different window, you want to bring it over to another window? Well, here's how to do that. You click on the, the desktop and I say I want to move this one. I right click and I say move to and I just move it to a different uh, desktop. And uh, as soon as I click on it, it disappears here and sure enough, we go look over here, and there we have two programs in that desktop. So the last thing to look at is what happens when you close one of these desktops. In this simple example here, I have two of them running. If I click on that, what happens? The application does not close. You don't lose any work. It automatically moves to an available desktop. Very nice, very handy feature. Uh, so there you have it. There's multiple desktops in Windows 10. Uh, you can look at them all, switch between them really fast, and have a lot more screen space to play with. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.